to give the northern hemisphere to give the northern hemisphere its summer. We're in, we're in winter here, down here now. Now that's now if you understand that, then you'll understand a lot of stuff. Now there are a couple of really important things here that I'm going to talk about later, and if I do it now, um, we can probably... When the sun is up here, around about the end of October, something happens. There's some cosmic force on the Earth that causes the Earth to kind of slow down. Down around here, towards the end of February, March, I don't know. There's, there are forces on the Earth which causes it to actually speed up. Now, I, I tell you that because when the sun rises there in the east, comes up, and it's directly overhead, that's called the zenith. What the sun's at, it's absolute zenith. Wherever you are on the earth, it doesn't matter whatever meridian you're standing on, or whatever part of a meridian you're standing on, the sun overhead at, is, is solar noon. It's not noon on your watch. Not 12 o'clock on your watch, it's solar noon. So, let me just say that, um, where we had the sun there in, at the end of October, uh, slowing down, the earth slowing down, that means that it, 12 noon gets, is less, slower. So it can be actually 16 minutes after 12 by the time the sun gets to you, around in, in October, or down here in this, I think it is February, um, at the end of February, the sun can get to you 14 minutes before noon. And that's just something that to keep in the back of your mind for now, because it will become important later when I start talking about actually finding out what time it actually is on your watch, when it actually isn't. 12 o'clock when you're looking at it and there are very many reasons why it may not be 12 o'clock. 